Baseball cards, paintings, tools, dolls, a Cubs World Series ring, and the list goes on and on. There was literally so many items inside the garage that we couldn't even walk inside the garage. Ross Township Police say this wasn't a hoarding situation, but a theft operation. We first told you about these two men, Perry Harsman and Marvin Durham, last month. They were arrested for breaking into units at Skyview Storage. Police say they used bolt cutters to break locks and loaded their trucks with items that didn't belong to them. Since then, Ross Township detectives followed leads to a house in Colerain Township where Harsman had been living. Investigators say this is where the pair had been storing the stolen goods. I feel hurt. I feel like I was lied to and just used. A woman who lives at the home asked not to be identified but says she's a victim too. Blindsided 100%. She says Harsman paid her rent to live here and lied about where all of the stuff was coming from. I was told that he was buying storage units with a friend and they were splitting it and going and selling what they could. Police recovered specific items that had been reported stolen. All of the belongings, such as these saddles, have been returned to the victims. The horse saddles were very personal to her. They were handed down to her from family. So it really meant a lot to her that we were able to return those items to her. But police say there are many more items inside the house and likely just as many, if not more victims out there. And police say at least one of the suspects has been arrested before for stealing from storage units in the Blue Ash area and also Mainville area. So if you rent a storage unit, even if it's not in Ross Township, it might be a good idea to go and check. And if you find anything stolen, report it to your local police department. Reporting live tonight in Ross Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.